Welcome back to the non-stop recordings of Withering Waves. I have been playing since for 12 hours now, I think. 12 hours straight since the release. When in milk. This is a testament to my connection with the world around me. And it's very you much my companion now. Milk bearing witness to everything. I'm almost able to level prestige my characters further. Now, I do wish that the resonators, when I hit this first tier right here, that that would give me a reward. But they give you so many rewards in this that I don't think it really matters, I suppose. But it would be nice. Oh, the next one's... It goes from 40 to 50. So, 60, 70, 80, 90. Interesting. Potentially. Something like that. What would happen if I did auto equip with you? These are the ones that would choose. Now, Encore, what would you do? I know yours would change. Yeah, you'd get Mr. Hell Rider here. Game just loves giving you that stone guy. Encore's got this one, that makes perfect sense to me. It does give you the wolf, which is interesting. All these new ones I got, I got loaded on new ones. Oh, there is these. Resonator rank 2. Increase Resonator Ascension rank. Oh, so the Resonator rank 2 is when I can start upgrading those on them, okay? I think I could almost get that upgrade on them. Can't wait until I get the full circle. This girl has one extra on it. You have one extra. You have one extra. You don't. Okay. Now let's go to this event and see if we can get this guy. I don't know how hard it is to get that reward. Okay. So I have to go down over there for that. That is quite a journey. Let's try to get to that first. I think, honestly, traveling from here should be fine. <sighs> it's a far away journey, but like, literally, this is like one of the close points. So, let's grab those trophies. Let's take a look at what we have for a conveying. Got 2,000 of these credits. I got 7 and 7. Nothing for the weapon. It's all good. Another sip of my energy drink. I can probably turn on my light. It's getting bright enough in the day I can turn this on doesn't like make me look like I'm bright. As you can see I got my Viking cloak which is just a blanket around me. It's stubby as you can see because it's colder. Looks like I have my uh wait I'm learn learn the drink. <sighs> so far honestly though Ling Yang? Linging? For no reason? They say you have claws. We heard you can tear those monsters into sh This is the character I want to get. Wanna take a look? I think he's cool. <gasps> yes, please. Okay 
then. Here you go. Some. I gotta I do this quest can now. Make up for not showing you my impressive claws. See, he's not scary at all. Thank you, Ling Yang. You're welcome. Do come by to see our Ling Yang dance show tomorrow. The Ling Yang. Ling Yang. I've been pronouncing it wrong. I never see knew how to soon. pronounce it. So so. Hmm. You smell unfamiliar, yet so powerful and so pure. You must be that famous rover. Haya, I've heard a lot about you, and now I finally get to meet you in person. You can call me Ling Yang. Glad to make your acquaintance. Fare thee well, blessing swell. You really are different from everyone else. So we've shaken hands. Now we're good friends. Our troop is so doing a once big I finally get you on my team, we'll be real evening, friends. And I'm now doing some advertising. Real friends. Once I entrap you on my team permanently. Well, lion dancing is a traditional thing in Jinjo. Ling Yang. We've got whole groups dedicated it right to here lion dancing. It to say. Our troop, for example. We've got lots of activities in Jinjo. I can't wait. Mm. Oh, oops. <laughs> uh, sorry. I guess I'm a bit hungry after rehearsing for a whole day. <gasps> Speaking of that, I should treat you to dinner. Let's talk over food. That'll be fun. Well, actually, yes, it is. Jinjo people love feeding our guests. It's our way of showing hospitality. Get ready to be blown away by the amazing flavors here. But right now, flavors. I still have some other things to finish. I've been getting a ton of requests for private lion dances lately, and some happen to overlap with our big show tomorrow. And you know how important lion dancing is to the folks here in Jinjo. Can't just turn him down. So I had an idea. Why not combine all these personal requests into the grand performance? That way, everyone's happy. We can even customize the performances to cater to each client's needs. But first, gotta figure out exactly what our clients want. Rover, wanna come with me? We can go visit my clients on our way to grab food. I'll show you around and introduce you to our local customs firsthand. It'll be way cooler than just hearing about it from others. What do you say? Nice, I'm in. <laughs> Great! Let's go! Okay, let me think. My first client's nearby. You might have seen them before. Just cross the bridge, keep going, and we're there. This bridge right here? Oh, okay, that way. Now, originally, when I just saw the arts of the characters, I didn't like this character. It wasn't until I saw, like, the trailer for them. I'm like, you know what? They seem cool. And I really want to do this, so that's why I'm um, the one I've been trying to go for. Oh, you are. I just decided. I like basically. I decided Five he's gonna be my favorite character regardless. Door, so. Good luck and fortune evermore. Aw, the lucky greetings. You're from the Lion Dance troupe, I bet. Nice to meet you. Are you here for my grandpa's birthday party? I thought our reservation was tomorrow. Did you maybe mix up the time? Uh, 
Here's the thing. People from City Hall already booked a lion dance show on the same day for soldiers leaving on an expedition. I see. But maybe we can combine your celebrations with this existing show. My grandpa was a soldier too. He'd be so happy if you could do that for him. Nice. Just double checking again. It will be your grandfather's 60th birthday, right? Correct. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Then I'll do six spins in a row as part of the celebration, which symbolize the six decades your grandpa has lived through. Means I'll dance around our birthday star Grandpa's on the poles. Only 60? It's a special birthday celebration dance. One spin for a decade past, health and for vigor forever last. Thank you so much. I'm sure Grandpa will be happy to hear that. Especially because she looks like she's 40 or 30. Done. Now, on nice. to the next yeah. client. Hmm. I remember it's a young couple. Here they are. Blissful union, endless delight. Love eternal in thee a light. Oh my, look who's here. Come here, Ling Yang. We're getting the wedding candies ready. Here's one for you. And this one here. Thank you for the candies. Actually, I'm here for that lion dance request you made. City Hall already booked a show for soldiers on the same day. So... Really? So you won't be able to perform for us? We were both born and raised in Huanglong, so we've been super looking forward to the Lion Dance Officiant Ceremony during our wedding. It's an interactive wedding ceremony. The bride and groom stand on either side of the Lion Dance performer. When the lion head opens its mouth, they put their hands inside and it bites down. It's called settlement. It symbolizes an unbreakable bond. I know this wedding means everything to you, and I don't want you to have any regrets. Your love is rock solid, and I can see that. The lion dance officiant ceremony would just be the cherry on top of your unbreakable bond. How about you two exchanging tokens when the lion head reaches the top during tomorrow's performance? It'll be a lively atmosphere with drums, gongs, and firecrackers bursting in celebration. Even though it's not exactly the thing you wanted, isn't it still a unique way to exchange vows in front of your loved ones? And it symbolizes, to the world's end, your hearts aligned. To the sky's edge, All right, your you're taking a little too entwined. Oh, you're taking that's a little so too sweet. far, everybody. <laughs> My partner's a soldier in training, headed to defend our borders soon. The Lion Dance show for the parting soldiers must mean a lot to him. Zheng, what do you say? Sure. I'm happy to go along with whatever you want. Okay. Hmm. We'll need some more time to think it through. No problem. I'll wait to hear from you. All right. Just one more client to go. He's at the place where we'll be eating our dinner. Ugh, my stomach's rumbling again. Can't wait for a big feast. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, that way? Here we are. I was just like, when it first showed hey, Ling Yang, this... Stand in there. I'm like, what? The May your profits always stream. Oh, hi. Isn't that the Lin Yang boy? What brought you here? My lion dance request. I heard you were getting a ton of requests. I hope you can still fit mine in. Look, I got the lion pepper and everything. Just waiting for you to put on the lion head and chow down at my store opening. Sir? There's something I need to tell you. 
Yeah, I heard. My thing conflicts with the performance you're doing for the soldiers, right? Will you have to cancel? Exactly. So I was thinking we could incorporate some lion pepper elements into the show to make up for it. Nah, no need to worry about my little shot, boyo. Just focus on your big performance. Oh, and you must be... <laughs> Looks like Lin Yang has made a new friend. Here, try this while you're here. A new snack I just came up with. Go on, Rover. Dinner's on me. Mr. Shun Chai is a great chef. To really get to know a city, start with the food. Yum, yum! Hey, sir, can we share this snack with the audience during our evening show? No snacks, no show. Let me do something for you. Anything to help you attract more customers. Oh, my. That'll be my great honor. But... What's the matter? Have you heard? There's a monster appeared in the wild recently. One they call the Jingle Beast. <laughs> the action scene's all coming in out of nowhere. The Jingle Beast? <laughs> yeah, somehow oh, okay. the nickname sounds cute even. But you know took what? A dark turn. It does all the terrible stuff you can think of. When hunting, it makes these jingling sounds. They say its tusks are over half a meter long and its claws shred prey with ease. No, that's not true. The jingle beast doesn't look like that. It... it's a... Uh, a friend of mine. Wow! Actually, I need this one ingredient for my new snack. But the Jingle Beast has been messing things up. Can't find good meat anywhere right now. Do you have any other ways to rip- Well, there's only one place left to get it. And it's run by this exile group called the Savages. Apparently, <laughs> the music changes the jingle beast, and okay. that's how they still have meat for sale. But it's crazy expensive five times the usual price, it's insane. I'm just a small shop, how am I supposed to afford that? So, I can't make a lot of these snacks for you to hand out yet. Me? Oh, I'm fine. It suddenly struck me that there was another request to deal with. I... I it should be right next to the tea house, not far away. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go. Sorry, Rover. I'll be back soon. This is where he transforms into the Jingle Beast. <laughs> Does whatever he's doing. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. Oh, that's typical Lin Yang. You'll get used to him soon. He's spontaneous, always doing whatever pops into his head in the moment. He just loves helping people. You'll often see him sprinting around the alleys, lending a hand wherever needed. He's quick and strong. Nothing seems to faze him. He's been such a blessing to us. We do feel bad when he injures himself accidentally, though. He brushes it off and tells us not to fret. But even though he says not to worry, we still do. Rover, can you go check on him? Whatever you order at my place will be on the house. Thank you. The tea house Ling Yang mentioned is in the residential area, just past the square. Keep walking and you'll find it.
You know, maybe this might be my first type, my first clip that, or first video I upload to YouTube Sorry, of Withering Waves and then the figure one out the old for. ones. I never later. made any lion dancing requests. Rover, what brought you here? It's not a big deal, really. Uh, thanks for coming to check on me. I received a strange request from the Bay family. It didn't mention any specific <laughs> requirements. Could it be your parents? No, it can't be. Now, if there's nothing else, please excuse me. Please, one moment. Beishi, do you have an older brother? How did you know? The client who called me had a mature male voice. And since he said he's from the Bay family, there's only one other possibility. Beishi, has something happened to you? <sighs> I'm Ling Yang from the Lion Dance Troupe. This is Rover. You can trust us. It's about my brother, Beiji. It's been a week now, and he still hasn't come back home. A week ago? That's when I received this request. Was he acting strange the last time you saw him? My brother and I stopped talking to each other a while back, after a big fight. I don't even know when he last left our house. But he still sends me packages from time to time. It's been a bunch of strange stuff. This package has old Angelica flowers. They don't smell good anymore. And these meats, they're almost bad, even though they're refrigerated. Anything else he told you? He mentioned hanging out with people from the Savages in one of his letters. I didn't tell anyone because I was worried my brother would get in trouble if I reported it to the police. Yeah, the Savages seem shady. And there's talk of the Jingle Beast being connected to them. But the return addresses on these packages are all different. How are we supposed to find him? I see. Rover, you're so clever. Beishi, leave it to me. I'll help you find your brother. Can I go with you? I get it, Beishi. You really want to find your brother. But it's dangerous out there with the TD outbreaks happening more frequently. I can't guarantee your safety if we run into a spreading tacit field. I... I can handle it. I used to be a member of the Pioneer Association, too. Us pioneers never, never back down from a challenge. But I... If you insist... Okay, but we'll need to ask Rover about it. He's a strong resonator. With him, we'll be safer on our journey. To be honest, I don't want to drag my friend into this. But this is an emergency, and Beishi wants to tag along, so I'm asking a favor of you. Rover, I know it's a big ask. Okay. Go ahead. But please. Please help me. Amazing. Thank you, Rover. Just didn't give me the option to say no. The guy who brings my packages is always the same dude, and I know where he works from. Okay, let's get this dealt with. Rover, are you ready? Rover, are you ready? Rover, 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 are you ready, Rover? I don't know. You can just call me Brandon. Instead of Rovin, Rover, or out Rover. Fine. It is natural to feel. I'm starting to get my second wind now that I ate yet. some spicy chips from being up for as long as I have. I didn't sleep. 
almost seven in the morning. Been up since yesterday, just grinding this game since it came out on the 22nd at 6 p.m. where I live. Oh, oh, that was a lot of XP. Thank you. I, I, I think. Oh, my frame rate's dropping. It should be around here. Wait, there's someone calling for help. I see him. Okay, you don't need to say anymore, Ling Yang. I got you. Don't worry. Hopefully this helps. <laughs> okay. Why does it feel like my character is not fighting normally? Leave? Me? What the heck is that? Thank you. You saved my life. Are you all right? Thanks for asking. I'm fine. I could have run away, but then the packages wouldn't reach their recipients. Of course. We promise we deliver. That's our slogan at Lalo Logistics. We're searching for a missing person who used your service. Can you help us? Sure. You just saved my life. I'll tell you everything I can remember. Hmm. Uh, I'm sorry, but this doesn't ring any bell. But... We just checked the package tracker, and it said you were the delivery man. M m maybe it was a mistake? I see. Well, we still have another question. The Twinkle Beast? Oh, the you mean the monster beast. everyone's been talking about recently. You mean the Jingle Beast, right? Yeah, wh whatever. That dangerous man-eating thing. It's said to have long tusks and sharp claws that can tear anything to shreds. And there's this exile group called the Savages, and they claim to be able to talk to that beast. So people have been paying them to talk the Jingle Beast out of attacking humans. That's all I know, sir. Thank you, but I've got one last question. Do you know where we can find the Savages or the Jingle Beast? Sorry, but we have our rules to, to follow. I cannot divulge details of our clients, but I heard the Jingle Beast is often found roaming in a campsite. It's somewhere near a broken tree on that mountainside. Well, those working on the guard tower can often spot it, too. I see. Thank you for answering my question. Sir, may I remind you that thing is very dangerous. It's ferocious beyond your wildest imagination, and there may be more than one of them. Don't worry. If there really was a second Jingle Beast, well, I'll have to see it for myself. It's obvious that you're the Jingle Beast, Ling Yang. Oh, well, okay. we didn't get anything useful from him. Yeah, at least now we know the Savages and the Jingle Beast are <laughs> definitely connected. Besides, did you see his expression? He seemed frightened. I bet he was hiding something from us out of fear. Well, at least we still got some clues from him. Like where we can find the Jingle Beast. But, but there are so many campsites in the wild. How can we pinpoint its exact location with a couple of words from him? Follow me. Let's keep our eyes open for anything unusual. Campsite near a broken tree and visible from the guard tower. I think I know where it is. That's the place. Slather this Let's hand sanitizer. And stay alert. Clean the hand sanitizer up. Throw that, play the game, and then I'll do the next step later. I can do it right now. I don't even care if there's hand sanitizer on it. I have to clean my dupe. Oh my goodness. That's so much better. There we go. I was eating chips and I cracked my tooth and like tooth's still there, but there's like a hole in it now and when I eat from it's the packed. size of this campsite, so it doesn't look like they can take. hold a big gathering Graphic here. This. The broken tree, it should be somewhere up ahead. 
I just had to explain walking? my struggles. Hmm? Shh. Let's lay low. Let's not step on those bushes. Oh, let's lay low. Thanks, thanks for brain registering knowledge. Oh. Let's lay low. They said let's lay low. I'm laying low. Go for it. That's what laying low looks like. How did it go? <laughs> You're so smart, boss. That jingle beast <laughs> rumor really did the trick. Let's go, boss. So they're really here? Shh. Keep quiet. Do you see these Those bushes? Predator eyes. These bushes are not supposed to grow so well on exposed ground. Must be planted on purpose. There might be traps hiding underneath. Let's stay put and listen to what they're saying. Oh, about that new guy? He's been getting things down quickly. I'll give him that. Hmm, he's too nosy. Can't shut up about the jingle beast. Let him go find the beast if he's so eager. And then we'll handle him ourselves. Boss. I heard this guy we're dealing with is tough. He probably won't believe in the Jingle Beast rumor. Let's see how he feels after we rough him up in the dark. You get it now? Brilliant plan, boss. You're relentless. <laughs> Watch and learn, kid. You're just a pup. You don't know what really scares people. But I'll come with you this time. All right, everyone, let's go. Grab your stuff. Phew, are they gone? No. She screams that right there. Still near I can still hear them breathing. They're on high alert. But they're still inexperienced by beast standards. Okay, now they've gone farther away. Let's go check it out. This is our Rams, Rams shacking place. My words are dying. My words. They're going away. This is what happens when this game just came out and I've already grinded this far. You know, how much do you want to bet, though, I would have had the game beaten by now if the loading screens weren't an hour long? This is, this is I mean, it would not loading device. screens like that, but like booting in and out of the game and going through doors and stuff and teleporting takes like... How could this like be? Hour this morning. It's getting better really though. It's working loading faster now. Bad guys? Bei Shi, what kind of person is he? He's shy and careful. Bei Shi, sometimes we can't trust what we hear or see. We have to use our hearts and logic to uncover the real truth. It's not always obvious. Thank you. I see. Rover, you found anything else? It's just the tusk of an adult saber boar. It's indeed larger than usual, but they might be using this to make people believe the Jingle Beast is real. They're not just spreading rumors. They are also selling spoiled meat. Ugh, it pisses me off too. The top priority now is to find clues about Beiji's whereabouts. Now we have another problem. We have to keep tabs on the savages to see what they're planning. According to what we just heard, their next victim is about to show up. Sounds good. The savages are super alert, but I know the wilderness better than them. She'll be safer with you by her side. If anything happens, I'll call you. Thank you, Rover. You take care of yourself, too. So far, I'm liking this story quest. This thing they I'm hoping that it ends with, like, you know, could have left me a lion dance. Hmm. Ah, there is a message. Sorry, Beishi. I stood between you and your dreams. Perhaps you were right. Your brother is just a selfish coward. I don't dream of your forgiveness. Farewell, Beishi. I'll kill the Jingle Beast for you. It's my brother. 
It's probably because I joined the Pioneer Associate. My brother was really against my decision, but that was my childhood dream. So we had a big fight. I... I don't know. He never told me anything about it. <sighs> no. It must be the Jingle Beast. I know. The Jingle I Beast know is just the dumbest well. thing ever. A while ago, when I was on a mission in the wilderness, <laughs> oh, no. I got ambushed by tacit discords. As I struggled to escape, I heard the sound of a bell ringing in the distance. I... I can't remember. I was so scared, my mind went completely blank. After hearing the bell, I... I just kept running without looking back. That bell kept chasing me, and if I hadn't made it, perhaps I would have been eaten by the Jingle Beast. So, yes, this must be the Jingle Beast again. All right, let's go. It was just Ling, Ling Yang putting his costume on. I already know this. Ain't no way. Where are you at, Ling Yang? I'm gonna find you. I know it's you. Ooh, hold on. I missed. Never mind. I didn't even try. I didn't even try. Or it's Santa Claus. It's either it's Ling Yang or it's Santa Claus, and it's with him with his shed, the sled. I'd like to see that animated, just him in his shed. Rover, wow! <laughs> Try to act like he was doing something missing. Signal. Didn't expect you to arrive so soon. While I was tailing the savages, I overheard them talking about where Beiji went. But I didn't... I didn't see anything like the Jingle Beast. Let's stick with the Beiji <laughs> so thing. Do you remember what we overheard at the campsite? They mentioned a newbie who was obsessed with the Jingle Beast. And just now, they sent him to some deep cave. I'm sure I did hear the bell ringing. Well, given how big it is, I don't think it could fit inside a cave like this. I do smell danger from this cave, though. Based on what we've gathered so far, the newbie, probably Beiji, is in danger. We need to act fast. Rover, I've always known how strong you are. I probably shouldn't be asking you for more help. But Beiji is in danger, the situation's looking dire, and we need your aid. Could you please help us rescue Oh him? my goodness, of course your that's why I'm here in the first place. <laughs> yeah, his sister is super worried too. I... I'm going with you. My brother's in there. I want to find him as soon as possible. Beishi, I understand how much you want to find your brother. But it's really dark inside, and we've got no idea what could be hiding in there. We'll be stretched thin just watching each other's backs. Besides, I have a more important thing for you to do. I need you to go back to the city as fast as you can. Let patrollers know what happened today, and request their help. But I don't want to run away from danger anymore. Beishi, as an explorer of the Pioneer Association, I trust you understand. A seasoned explorer knows how to make sound decisions in the moment. And sometimes, choosing to retreat doesn't mean we are weak. Please trust Rover and me. We promise to bring your brother back safely. Yes, I will. Please help him. And oh, please, please help him again. That's what we're doing. Why do you keep asking? No we'll bring him back. As we're walking in the clay cave, she's like, please. 
go in the cave and help him. And it's like, what do you think we're doing? We're going in to help him. The hidden cave. The cave of hidden. The longest loading screen you've ever seen in my entire life is right now. No, on the way out, it's going to be like way long, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I won't go crazy yet. These loading screens. I'm not going crazy yet with the loading screens. I get plays a ying ling ling ying bing. Oh, he's awesome. I can't believe it. I just want to unlock this character. I'm pretty good at pathfinding. Leave it to me. I need to grind out chests. I bet Bei I'm getting this. Ling Yang. From what Bei Shi described, Bei Ji doesn't sound like someone brave enough to come here alone. But why does he have this bizarre obsession with the Jingle Beast? I guess this is the only way ahead. Let's keep going. is tricky and narrow here just tacit discords just. could be hiding let's be careful as we move i on. just can't wait until i'm fighting these things as ling ying that's right go down oh Yay. wait let me see that one more time oh that's curtains for you <laughs> okay Looks like one just appeared. I'll handle it. Stay back. What even is that? <laughs> All right, laser beamy little mushroom. Yay! A lot of jumping up into the air and slamming back down. I kind of like that. I'm thinking about uploading this without editing it, so it can be way high quality for this one. And so I'm trying to make sure things are fast, so I'm making fast. <laughs> oh, it's one of these 2D levels. Okay, hold on. I don't need the mouse for this. I just want to put my other hand on the T. Watch out! There's thorns up ahead. Come on, I've done one of these before. I've done a challenge one. What? Do I actually gotta fight? What about this? Oh, okay. Maybe you need your ma your hand on the mouse for that, but. The other one required grapples, and it was like a parkour running one, so. Let's play hide and see. Whatever that beast is, I have to get that. I have to get that for him. Okay. There's no stopping good luck once it's on your side. Oh, in midair, what? That's actually so cool. Okay. I stayed away from gameplay when I when this game was coming out, so. Oh no, I accidentally used that. Pretty handy, right? Interesting. But be careful. Our enemies can also use these lights to locate us and set up an ambush. So we can't stay too long in the light. Hi, bear. Are you gonna do something? Are you gonna be mean to me? 
This guy is completely blocking our way. It's not too difficult to fight against, but it's a total wrecking ball. If we fight it here, it could bring down the entire cave. This thing's massive. Oh. There's and no way you're actually supposed to be like that. Open for food sense, even when it's asleep. <laughs> yep, that's the noctament. Let's put it by the spear back and see what happens. The scent is coming from below. This is interesting. The rocks here look so funny. I love this quest. They Before. kind of resemble oh. the plum blossom poles. I don't know where the lion is. dancing. How about this? Kick, kick, slide, twirl, and glide. Oops. Sorry. That's kind of just like his fighting I this as I hop on the poles. Oh, it turned around. Mm, so many thorns here. One prick from these thorns hurts more than a fall. Let's glide over them. More thorns. Rover, I'm here with Oh, no, 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 no. Leave me alone, Spikes. Oh, I thought that was a rock I was supposed to hit. Is that thing just like an animal holding in your, holding on to a stick for you? Is that all that is? Whoops. Okay, game. The Noctiment smells near. Let's go and have a look. Am I supposed to go down? That's it. The Noctiment we're looking for. Now we can safely distract that spear back. Watch out! More tacit discords! Tacit discords? Oh, I get it. They're a little bit corrupted. Okay, I just I, I can't hit a single shot for some reason. Oh, well, let me keep doing that. Oh, dang. I'd like to just sit there and body slam it over and over Let's again. Play hide and see. I'm not good with the combos yet, but... Oh, I meant to hit E, but that, that works. Oh, I kind of get how you do that. Oh, I get it. <laughs> that is so fun. What? Okay. Oops. Good thing I get another one. Riches poor, reveries soar. I found a shortcut. Let's go this way. Okay, Mr. Bear. Ling Yang placed the berries. Well, it's out of our way now. Ooh, gold chest. There's no stopping. Forty of that ash right in it. Side. That's right. <laughs> Phew. Been right. a while since I last swam. This feels so good. This area just wow. looks like it's out of Skyrim. I didn't expect the inside of this cave to look like this. This is so beautiful. This plant only grows in dark places. 
and I haven't seen it in a long time. I miss it a little. Where'd you think you're running to, brat? Didn't expect you to make it this far. Shame these monsters didn't get you yet. Oh well, at least we'll get to claim your sorry corpse later. I... I'm not afraid of you. I know all the dirty things you've done. I, I, I've already sent out proof against you. Even if you kill me, it won't change the truth. There are still brave people out there. They will stand up to you. I know they will. I knew it. Beiji wasn't working with them. Oh, our prey is finally here. Who are you? Run, run while you can. They're targeting me. Run, don't even think about it. You think you were smooth? We saw you spying and creeping up on us. We just played dumb to lure you in. And now we got you. Time to pay for your sneaky ways. Boss, you're the best. Surrender now, and you may die in one piece. Why would you choose to live like a beast when you could be a human? <laughs> Here we go. If you call All yourselves right. beasts, then you should know. Every beast has its own hunting game. Sometimes, a beast pretends to be weak. <laughs> to give their prey a false sense of security. Make them assume they're the hunters. What? I haven't been this angry in a while. Rover, we'll show them no mercy. I mean you because I'm I'm just gonna to use like you the whole time in this battle. I'll handle you the way beasts do. How high level is this guy? It sounds like he's gonna be like a tough battle, but it's just one person, so I don't really Two frames a second. Yeah. Uh, playtime's over. Huh. Okay, I'm kind of getting it a little bit. I think I have to pop the alt, or the alt, in order to do the, the dancing in the air version of it. Yeah, I think that's what powers him up, the dancing. And then I just use the S-A-W, whatever. Crap. Oh no, boss. I heard once his tail starts wagging real fast. He's unstoppable in battle. So what? Uh, but his tail's wagging like crazy now. <laughs> <sighs> I haven't revealed my true strength yet. Wow. You're so strong. <laughs> you don't stand a chance against me in the wilderness. Submit while you can, or would you prefer getting torn to shreds? <laughs> you startled those things awake! Boss, well, what do we do now? Well, uh... We're fighting them? We're running, of course! What? Wait, wait, boss! Rover, watch out! You said that like it was gonna show up in not the next 40 seconds, like it did. Are we gonna fight that massive bear? Can I get it? Don't you dare lay a claw on him! Can I unlock this bear to use? The what? There was a bear, not six boars. Let's play hide and seek. Lacha. 
I like this fist fight. Oh, I never popped the alt and it's doing it. So never mind. Maybe, maybe it's some kind of combo that does that. They're just getting punched in the face. Let's play hide and seek. Where the bear at? How's that? Okay, I'm starting to get the combo. I know I could just read it and it would tell me how to do it, but it's more fun just Let's to figure it out on my own. Seek. Drum beat strong, ill fortune gone. Yay! Are you all right? I won't yield. Oh, I'm getting low on damage and stuff. No, no, you can't beat me. There we go. You thought. You thought you had me. Let's play hide and seek. Get ice creature. You hurt my friend. You die. Grover. <laughs> sorry I let you see this side of me. Thank you. That would be great. I'm alive. Thank you for saving me. Oh, and uh, <laughs> sorry, but uh, who are you? My sister, Beishi. She's been worried about me. Is she doing okay? That's good to hear. Thank you. I didn't expect she would. I'm sorry. Sorry I made you worry too. Yeah. I guess you've already heard some of it from her. Our parents were both members of the Pioneer Association. They were famous explorers until we lost them to an accident. We've been struggling to survive since then. I did many part-time jobs to make ends meet trying to take care of my sister. But Beishi, she said she wanted to join the Pioneer Association and fulfill our parents' unfinished ambitions. She's the last family I have. I was really scared I'd lose her too. I tried to ban her from joining the Pioneer Association. We got into a huge fight. We haven't really talked to each other ever since. But to be honest, when she was accepted to join the association, I was really happy for her. Unlike me, she is brave, positive, and always willing to try new things. As her brother, I'm happy she'll get to see a bigger world. Looking back on it, I was holding her back from pursuing her dreams. Yes, I shouldn't have tried to make the decision for her. It's too dangerous here. Let's get out first. Your sister's been worried about you. I gotta walk out of here? You can't just teleport me out? Any chest in here hiding? Can you give me one? Oh, I should probably look a little harder though. But it's fine. Now this is the loading screen unless this game's working well we'll take a little bit of time here but i have thought about it i think i am going to upload this without editing it just because i think this is just such a fun a fun spot and i needed i wanted to upload one on the day that it released so i'm going to upload this one
the way it is as Ling Yang's story quest. I think it's fun. I think it's a fun quest. I think this is my favorite quest that I've done so far in this game. I've done quite a bit today. So. Yeah, it's, it's taking a while to load. And, um. I could be, like, you know, commentating and saying a whole bunch of stuff, but, you know, that's just not me today. I am just that worn out tired. But. I'm still having fun. So that's all that matters. I'm excited to unlock him as a character. I like the way he fights. Honestly, he could have been a really horrible character, and I still just want to get this character. I just think he's really cool. I don't know what it is with when it's at 60% that it wants to take forever, but it does. It does, it does. I am going to be, I think I'm going to upload, like, lots of content of this game. I think I'm going to do the whole story, open crates, I'm going to do DLC. But it's going to be kind of weird because I'm just absolutely grinding it. I'm just recording it all and I'm going to try to turn those into videos. And so there's going to be a lot of it where like, since I'm just focusing on that, you know. It's not like it's, it's going to be mainly gameplay orientated. Listening to the story such. You exit the cave to find Benji. How am I supposed to read it? Why did this happen? When it rains, it pours. This is not what I had planned. Behave. Ling Yang, Rover, are you all right? Thanks for the tip, young lady. We made it in time to catch them because of you. Ling Yang, Rover, are you all right? Beiji. 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 I'm so sorry. I made Be -she. Be -she. Be -she. They're both Beishi. Though seeing your reunion is truly touching. I missed some. I still gotta say, this isn't the right place for conversation. Let's head back to the city first. Take me with you. Oh my goodness, they didn't take me with you. You didn't take me with you. How far away is it? I gotta fast travel a whole long loading screen for that. I just got some mail. Well, here comes up another long loading screen when I am trying desperately to not let this go too long. I think an hour and 30 minutes is okay to upload non-edited, but it's going to like, I can't do anything with my computer or internet for an hour. It's just, I want it to upload in max quality, so... We're going to have some problems if it gets any longer. And it's already at an hour, three minutes, and 42 seconds. And I still want to see that lion dance in the morning. It's fine. This is the whole quest. I'm excited, though. I'm excited to upload this one. I just feel like this is such a fun little quest line and stuff like that. That. And I just wanted to upload something on this game. And then if I do upload stuff on this day, I, I just basically wanted to make an upload on the first day that it released. Of like an actual video on the game. And then, um, you know, figure out the rest of my, what I'm going to do with all the footage that I got of this up to this point. So, when you found out that Bei Shi lost her courage because of the Jingle Beast, you came up with a plan to get rid of it. Yeah. I thought I could kill the Jingle Beast and make my sister happy again. 
and I heard rumors about an exile group called the Savages. So I thought... Yes, I wanted to prove my courage. Wanted to make her proud of me. I just wanted to show her. If her timid brother could do it, so can she. But in the end, I couldn't achieve anything. I failed. Couldn't find the Jingle Beast. Couldn't beat the bad guys. I only knew how to cower in fear. That's all I could do. I'm just an incompetent coward. I've always been. No, that's not true. At least you didn't choose to work with those bad guys. Succumbing to desire and killing their own kind? These are the deeds of beasts. It's a uniquely human trait to go against their natural instincts, even sacrificing themselves for someone else or for a greater cause. It only takes a moment for a human to descend into beastliness. But holding on to one's humanity requires unwavering commitment and courage. Beiji, you've already proved your bravery. I'm sure your sister is proud of you, too. R really? Yes. I love you, brother. Okay. Yes, I promise you. But, um... At least I did find something this time. We now know the so-called Jingle Beast is just a bluff. So, Beishi, you don't need to fear it anymore. But I did hear the bell. Perhaps it was just your imagination. Or maybe it was some tacit discords? No way. I heard it loud and clear. I, I couldn't have mistaken it. Hmm. I guess we still need to help Bei Shi get over the Jingle Beast. Rover, Lin Yang, we'll be going home now. Sorry for the trouble I caused. Sure. Go get some good rest. Don't forget to come see the Lion Dancing Show tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow? Don't tell me you've forgotten your lion dance request. No, no, I didn't. Sorry. Actually, I made that request to further investigate the Jingle Beast. But now, I guess that's no longer necessary. I see. I know you've still got questions about the Jingle Beast. Who knows? You may find the answers in tomorrow's lion dancing show. I see. I want to see it. Come on, showtime. Yeah. Please showtime. do come, okay? I'm ready. Beijing and Beijing. I know you still have a lot of questions to ask, and there are things I'd like to discuss with you. Please follow me. I know Keep you're the jingle down this beast. Road and we'll reach the theater. But I guess you've been there many times already. Well, let's just hang out a bit while we're here. Developers, why do you gotta be evil? Why does he have to be slower than my sprint speed and then my walk speed, he's faster? And then there's this speed? Like, why can't I go the speed he's going? Sir, may your business boom! Thank you, Lin Yang. They're evil. There's no point I should be able to move faster. After our adventure in the wilderness, the hustle and bustle brings a comforting sense of prosperity. I must do what I can to keep it thriving. Have a happy wedding, Miss Lin Ling. Thank you, Lin Yang. <laughs> Miss Ganshua's shop is always so popular. Let's not bother her now. Her souvenirs are all made with care. I'm sure people will love them.
Flying dance time. I see it down there. I see it down there. I am so ready. And now we're back. Ling Yang, you're finally here. Master's been looking for you. Oh no, I completely forgot. Rover, could you look around backstage for a bit? See if you can find anything that might help Beishi overcome her fear. I'll be right back. Well, hurry up. Master's getting angry. I'm coming. I'm coming. So now I'm on a little teeny side quest. Wow. <laughs> All right. I'm excited though for this. There it is. Hey, Rover, I'm back. My master is super strict before our performances. He wants us to give our all for the people of Jinjo. Can't disappoint them. Why are the lion dance shows such a big deal in the place we're in? Hmm. Let's begin with the history of this tradition. Lion dance shows started as a way to cheer up returning soldiers and boost their morale before battles. It evolved over time into a way to boost soldiers' spirits before battle, symbolizing courage and the hope for victory. Later on, it transformed into the festive performance we see today. But it's still about keeping bad luck away dispelling fear, and passing prosperity and protection to future generations. Beishi got hit pretty hard during the attack, and she probably blanked out for a bit. Then, perhaps her brain made up some fake memories about that creepy jingle beast to fill in... Beiji wanted to kill the jingle beast to help his sister. Indeed, Getting rid of the thing she fears could work, but that won't solve the real issue. Like we heard on our way, the scary beast comes with many different names. We can defeat the Jingle Beast now, but another Twinkle Beast could appear later. It's not enough to just defeat that one Jingle Beast. One must have the courage to take on any beasts. That's why I want to help Beishi overcome her fear with our lion dance performance. As the lion dance evolved, it picked up various new styles and elements, which hold unique significance to each person. Our goal is to create a customized performance that truly benefits Beishi. Okay, gotta go prep now. See you at tomorrow's lion dance show. From 15 to 17 in the afternoon. In the afternoon. I'm gonna speed run it to 15 or whatever in the afternoon. Time for the Lion Dance Grand Finale. Oh, yeah. Oh, I did it again. I missed it. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> Imagine if that's how the game worked, it let you miss it. Oh, boy, I, would, I wouldn't be happy about that. Hi, Rover. It's been okay. Rover. I don't care about their story. Do you know what the secret is about Wait until you find out. Beginning. Here we go. Let's go. It's probably exactly the same as the trailer, but okay. Huh? 
<laughs> Everyone's faces. Someone's calling for help. Where was the six worlds for the old man turning sixty? I just run straight up to the stage. Oops. Ayo, ayo, ayo. Hey yo, hey, hey yo, 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 just ignore me, okay? Thank you. I was once chased by a big creature in the wilderness. All I could hear was a bell ringing, and my only thought was to run away. Then I heard about the Jingle Beast, so I figured it must have been what attacked me. But when I saw you perform today, it all came back to me. That's the same bell ringing sound I had heard back then. So, I must have been saved by that bell. The bell that sounded like it was chasing after me. It was actually guiding me away from danger. The lion dance inspires and empowers each person in a unique way. I'm glad my performance could give you courage and inspiration. Yeah, I loved your performance. I think I can keep working as an explorer for the Pioneer Association now. Beishi, that's amazing. When you joined the association, I was actually so proud. I'm happy you get to keep chasing your dreams. And, um, please forgive me. I am upset because you never told me anything. You always carried the burden alone. You didn't even tell me you were going to go kill the Jingle Beast. Don't you ever do something like that again. I promise. I promise. I know a nice food stall. It's right up ahead in the square. You should check it out. Awesome. Beishi, let's go. Rover, how was my performance? Did you like it? <laughs> Getting your compliments As if I just do my videos like that from now on, just... Rover, thank you so much for your help. I couldn't have accomplished any of this without you. Might as well. Yeah, sure. Let's talk somewhere more private. Why we always got to go talk somewhere private? If it's just right, if it's just you walking right over here to talk, then there's no point to move at all. Okay. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, it's over. Got scene time. Rover, let's talk here.
Where should I begin? Rover, have you ever thought about this? Since there are humans with resonance abilities, then could there ever be beasts with the same kind of power? Uncontrolled emotions in human resonators lead to disasters. It's even more dangerous in beasts, as they follow instincts. Over time, most of them died out, driven extinct by their unrestrained desires. Beasts that can bring their power under control are extremely rare, but they do exist. And the Jingle Beast, it ha a long, long time ago, the Jingle Beast wasn't called the Jingle Beast. It used to have a name. It was called Swan Ni. Is that his mom? Back then, the Swan Nis lived a tranquil life in deep forests. However, when the tacit fields expanded rapidly, their territories were not spared. Some of them had to encroach upon certain human territories for a chance to survive. Humans suffered greatly against the Swan Nis with their terrifying appearance, powerful resonance abilities, and wild animal instincts. And that's why the Swan Nis were deemed evil. Uh, I read it in an old book in Huanglong. Said they lived under that giant violet banyan tree in the dim forest. The Swanese have nearly gone extinct over the years. And now, there might be only one of them remaining. And... I've heard of an interesting theory from the archaeologists. That last Swanee might have yearned to become a human. To make itself more approachable, it first came up with a less intimidating name. Something like the Jingle Beast. And then it yanked off all its fur, filed down its claws, twisted its bones, <laughs> Boy. and learned to stand upright. Maybe it was drawn by the bustle and merriment of human cities. It must have been lonely as the last of its kind. Maybe it was moved by human bravery against the lament and wanted to offer help. Maybe it wanted to fight the catastrophe that ruined its once homeland. Or maybe... It simply couldn't resist human foods. Anyway, it never really became a human in the end. If it truly wanted to become human, it had to first understand the essence of what makes a human. If you ask me, the essence would be the heart of a human. Therefore, the Jingle Beast no longer rejected its appearance and began to, in its animal form, connect with humans to assist them. Perhaps, in this process, it happened to save a girl in the wilderness. Rover... What do you think the ending for the Jingle Beast was? Did it finally become a human? Well, is that what you think? I think the Jingle Beast no longer cares whether it's a human or a beast. It lives in its own way. In this world, there are beings with the appearance of a beast and the soul of a human, 
just as there are beings with the appearance of a human and the soul of a beast. All it needs to do is be true to itself. It will remain resolute and convey the beautiful and inspiring qualities it once saw in humans in its own way. Oops, I got carried away and almost forgot. Here, keep this bell as a memento. Thank you, Rover. Wing Yang, come here. Coming. Rover, I must go get the props ready for the next show. Come watch my performance again next time. Food's on me. Please keep this bell. It should bring you good luck. Fare thee well, blessing swell. Wild hearts returned. Yes, continue. I got a bell. What does the bell do? The bell that Ling Yang wore during the performance as a thank you for the journey. Ling Yang gave it to you. Good luck. Interesting. Well, that was Ling Yang's story quest. I really liked it. And honestly, I can't wait until I unlock him as a playable character. He will be my main character. As you can see, I already have him right here. And I got so I got 10 rolls in the bag. I got 2,000 of these points, 7 of that. So I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him regardless of what the game prints. At some point, he will be mine. But there's nothing you can do to stop me. So anyways, I don't I want to make this quick, so leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and adios amigos. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna be making more Withering Waves content in the future. This one's gonna be completely unedited, so it's not gonna have an intro or an outro. Um, it's not gonna be cut. Just this was gonna be straight, just raw hour and 30 minutes of me doing this quest. Well, at first I didn't realize I was gonna be doing this quest, but he just showed right up and I had to do the quest. Anyways, that was great. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. And I will see you guys later. Also, this game's free, so if you haven't picked it up already, you might as well go and download it. It's Withering Waves. Alright, I'm done. Tainora. Oh my goodness.